Hey guys, Azure and Shield K9. So today um, we have a uh, special guest who's going to be with us for a while. Uh, how old is this dog? No idea. I think he's a year old, if I remember from his sheet correctly. Roughly about a year old, uh, Malwa, and uh, he comes to us from Chicago, Illinois. Um, owner wants us to do protection training. It's funny, we've been actually since the borders opened, we've been getting uh, quite a few dogs from the U.S. recently. So, um, anyways. What's his name? Buell. 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 So Buell is uh, here to do protection work. Um, so we're going to be uh, doing a quick evaluation on Buell. So a couple things that we see with Buell. He's very, um, you know, he, he's very social. But you see here, look, when the handler touches him, right? To touch him, touch him. You see that, that behavior, that, that lip licking and, and the stiffening a little bit. It makes him a little bit nervous. He's probably a very sensitive dog with the handler, if I had to guess. So that's something that we'll keep in mind. Um, obviously, he also doesn't know Eric very well, so it can change things because um, he got here literally today. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to do a quick little evaluation of his drives. And we're going to kind of see where he's at mentally in order for us to be able to craft a, a protection training plan for him that's going to uh, be advantageous to him. So he is social. He seems like he has good environmental. Um, and just a, a little bit handler sensitive, which you see a lot in the mouths. They can be very, very um, handler sensitive. So I'm going to go get some equipment and we're going to see uh, what's in the tank for Buell. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is a little prey drive test, okay? And I like to do this just to kind of see where the dog's at mentally. If he had come out here and been very reactive, like huffing and puffing and woo 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 and looking at everybody all sketchy and stuff, then I would have probably gone more through the reactive side and, and just started building him through the reactive side. Um, but, you know, he came out pretty social and pretty open. You can see there is, like I said, a little bit of insecurity there could be related to just him being young, being handled by someone he doesn't know. So anyways, all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kick this around and I'm gonna see what kind of interest there is. There we go. Let him out a little more, Eric. Oh, good boy. Oh, good. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Good boy. Oh. So there's some definitely obviously some prey drive there again this is where you see what i said about the handler issues is very pertinent right you can see he's his big hang up is not that they're the lack of drive in the beginning you could see a few times he was checking back on the handler so could be like i said a number of things could be because it's his first day being handled by eric or it could be <laughs> man he's strong it could be because um, you know, maybe in the past with his handler, his handler's kind of given him a little bit of a guff for going after things. And because he's so sensitive, that stuck with him. And, and even when I was kicking this around, he wanted to go after it. He was kind of checking back on the handler. So again, it's not a big deal. It's easy enough to fix that, right? And just experience and the dog learning. So a couple of things, you can see that he has good, he has a good chase, right? He's, he's, he's got a really good um, uh, pursuit. Uh, the arousal, obviously, something that we need to work on. Um, so if you know anything about my training system, you can go back and watch my prey drive videos. I break prey drive into a lot of different, into several different components because not all dogs have the complete presentation of what most people term as prey. Most dogs are strong in specific areas and weak in other areas. It's There's not a lot of dogs that have a complete, what I would call good presentation. So just quickly, I mean, you can watch that video, but just quickly from basic stuff with this dog. Low arousal right now. So the arousal needs to be built up. And by arousal, I mean right now I'm holding this and he's just lying there. You know what I mean? He's not screaming, he's not barking. That's, you know, he's very kind of passive. And, and we see that I have to really get it going before he becomes active, okay? And now he's in pursuit because he's chasing it, all right? 
So the pursuit part's there. Um, the arousal is a big thing. So now let me see if I withhold it from him, what we got. Right? And again, you see that, that he becomes passive. Okay? So we've got pursuit. We've got a pretty decent grip. Of course, he doesn't know how to bite. Right? So you can see in the grip, it's natural, it's full, it's really hard. He wants to shake it and thrash it. He doesn't have a particular problem with me picking it up, which is nice. There's a little growly. Oh yeah, good boy. He doesn't have a natural counter. It's more of kind of a pull. And again, I'm not surprised based on what I was seeing with the handler stuff, right? He kind of is, he has a lot of conflict. He wants to take it away. He doesn't really want to engage with, hey, with me and it, okay? Possession's decent as well. So we've got basically the top end of the prey pyramid looking pretty good. The bottom end, the arousal is something that we need to build with him. And once we get the right arousal, I think he's going to be a pretty badass dog when we get done with him. So, um, you know, and of course he's here also for obedience training as well. So he'll be getting that. And um, I think the obedience training will also build his confidence and, um, you know, ability to work better with the handler. So this is Buell. And, uh, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if he's under a year. We got to look at his chart. I think he might be uh, even under a year. <laughs> um, so, uh, anyways, yeah, I like like what I see. Just wanted you guys to kind of share that with me. And we'll have some updates on Buell as well, right? Where you're going to start to see more and more of him. I think he'll progress very quickly. Yeah, there you go, buddy. There you go. There you go. Good. Good. Hey guys, you might be wondering why I'm standing in the kitchen. I'm standing in the kitchen because I always forget to mention my call to action. So, this is my call to action. Like, subscribe, comment below how you think Buell's going to turn out. Uh, follow us on Instagram. Uh, the link for that's going to be in the bio. And if you want to train with us online um, or in person, visit us at shieldk9.ca. Again, the link is in the bio. See you all again soon. <laughs>